Hey guys, this week I'm going to break down how to place this fisheye effect from the Justin Bieber Yummy music video. Let's get started. If you're new around here, my name's Arm and I make videos every Monday at 12 pm. Last week I asked you guys for some feedback and I received some, so please keep sending your feedback. And I said I would release a timetable, which I've placed both on my community tab and on Instagram. So why not have a look? Now, I know of Emi did a similar tutorial here where he used After Effects and face tracking tool and then placed the effect on it. Now, I believe I've got a faster way of doing it and it's on Premiere Pro. So open up Premiere Pro and import your footage and place this on the timeline. Then go to the effects tab here. And you can either search for it or go to video effect, distort and drag and drop Sophia, Sophia, Safa, serve into the video. In the effects control panel at the top, it'll give you two options. One, the size of the radius, essentially how big you want the effect to be. Two, the center of the sphere is the location of where you want the effect to happen. So I'm going to increase the size to what I want it to where I want it and then move it over her left eye. Uh, no, wait, that's her right eye. So that would be my left eye. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Okay. Once you're happy with that, copy and paste this effect by using control command C and control command V. Move this second effect over the uh, right eye. No, no, her her left, my my right. I think. Anyway, the uh, the other eye, the other eye. You may, like me, need to change the size of the radius to make it fit better. Brill, brill. Now we can move along the timeline, and change the position to follow the lady's eyes. But I forgot something here. Keyframing. Click on the stopwatch here to start keyframing both the on the radius and the location for both effects. Then I'm going to move along every few seconds and adjust accordingly. Bro, once you've done that, hit play and see how it's working. My effect is kind of off. So I'm going to go across every few frames and adjust accordingly. Perfect. Once you have those, highlight all the keyframes and right click on them. Then go down to temporal interpre interpolation, try and say that fast, and then easy in. This will just make the effect flow better. Perfect, I'm just gonna get rid of the green by adding the ultra keying effect and replacing it with a picture. Important thing to note here, try not to key in Premiere Pro. To get the best results and to do it professionally really, Start trying to key in After Effects or Nuke. And you're done. I hope you're enjoying this tutorial. I don't now, if you think about it, Justin Bieber's new song is catchy, but kind of, I don't know, what's the word? A bit boring? Really what you take away from it is all he's saying is like, yummy, 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 yummy. And he's got pink hair and there's food on a table. I mean, to come back after so long, I thought he would do something different, but there we go. It's so catchy though, I mean, it's on the radio constantly. I thought he was going to go more down the line of how, you know, Travis Scott is and they're building more effects into it and trying to make it more unique, I suppose, in a way. But no, they just filmed it in one room where he basically sits down majority of the time. If you're short on time, that's what you have. Anyway, guys, just, just my opinion. Let me know what you think of both the tutorial and his music video. I think the pink hair actually suits him, but that's just me. Um, hit the like and subscribe button, guys, and the notification bell so you know when I've released the video. And as always, stay inspired.